We will talk about semaglutide. It's very popular medication for diabetes type 2 and for weight loss. It's a relatively new medication which is approved in 2021 in case of weight loss and 2017 in case of type 2 diabetes. It's glucagon-like peptide receptor agonist uh, or GLP-1 agonist and it has really incredible weight loss results that's why it become so trendy and so popular according to meta-analysis it causes 15 to 20 percent body mass reduction in 68 weeks it's really good results and this time 68 week is not too long for such huge result that's why there is very, very high demand on semaglutide and now let's explain what it does and how it works also it improves cholesterol level and blood pressure reduce blood pressure and how it works when we hear semaglutide and when we say that it's glucagon like peptide receptor agonist we may remind glucagon and what uh, if it look like glucagon or what what is happening actually glucagon is synthesized by pancreas and it act on liver and in liver glucagon causes conversion of gly glycogen to glucose and eventually it causes high glucose level in the blood so glucagon causes high blood glucose level and when we have diabetes, we don't want high blood glucose level, we want low blood glucose level. So, glucagon is not what we want. What we want is glucagon-like peptide 1, not glucagon. So, they have opposite effect, totally opposite effect. Because glucagon-like peptide 1 acts on pancreas, and causes release and stimulate release of insulin. Insulin causes lower blood glucose level. That's one action of semaglutide. It causes low blood glucose level. That's why it's work on diabetes. Second is of course it acts on liver also and it decreases conversion from glycogen to glucose and also it uh, decreases creation of uh, glucose from amino acids or gluconeogenesis so it affects liver also its second action a third action is it uh, acts on stomach emptying and slows down stomach emptying and person feels more fuller longer period of time that's why it causes weight loss also it affects brain and causes appetite reduction so the uh, GLP or glucagon like peptide generally normally is released from intestines and it acts on liver and causes reduction of gluconeogenesis and the reduction of conversion from uh, glycogen to glucose it acts on pancreas and causes release of insulin it acts on brain and causes uh, appetite reduction and semaglutide or GLP agonist action is so strong that it's much more effective than conventional drugs of um, weight loss medications such as Lorcazarin and Orlistad, which are very well known medications, but in this case, semaglutide is more effective. But what is main limitations? Semaglutide is not first line treatment of diabetes. First line treatment is metformin. Metformin is more well studied at first. Second is that. Um, semaglutide is injectable form 
So it's main limitation also, and third, it's uh, it, it's relatively expensive. So it's not widely accessible for vast majority majority of population, and it's also important uh, limitation. So semaglutide is not first line treatment of diabetes. First line treatment of diabetes is metformin, and Moreover, semiglutide is not first-line treatment of obesity also. It's second-line treatment of obesity also because first-line treatment is lifestyle modifications and diet, such as um, healthy diet and physical activity, exercise. That's first-line treatment. And second-line treatment is semaglutide. Even it's very effective and high effectiveness so main limitation is injectable form even you need only one injection per week but it's not comfortable of course when you inject and relatively high um, price also uh, it has some short-term uh, effects like nausea vomiting um, but not long-term effects uh, when there was meta-analysis about safety on uh, semiglutide its long-term effects side effect was not different from placebo so it's highly safe as we know it's very safe but i think another limitation is that it's a relatively new drug even we have many meta-analysis about its safety we still need some more time to identify if there is any correlation for example with cancers because we have some studies according to them it increases the risk of thyroid cancer in animal studies so if it's if these studies are convertible into um, human studies we don't know so we don't know many small details about it about its safety in long term that's why uh, I would be more careful towards it. Um, this problem that it's in table form uh, will be resolved soon uh, because we will have oral semiglutide also expected in 2024. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.